Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today I'm going to be answering a simple question. Have you ever wondered what would actually happen if our Earth was spinning faster than it is right now? Let's find out and welcome to What The Math. Now, if you've been subscribed to, to this channel for a while, you may already know that Earth actually uh, doesn't spin as fast as it used to before. It used to spin like four times faster. Back in the days, uh, it used to have like a six hour day and it was basically a much, much different place. Today, it spins uh, once every 24 hours and the actual velocity on the surface here is about 465 meters per second. Now. Uh, there is a chance that one day Earth might spin faster, although right now Earth is actually slowing down even more, mostly due to the tidal effects from our beautiful partner, the Moon. It's actually slowing us down, just like we slowed it down a long, long time ago, making it tidally locked to us. Ultimately, this is actually what's going to happen. Uh, Earth and Moon will possibly get tidally locked, although it will take almost uh, like a hundred billion years. So. That this technicality is probably never going to happen because by then it's very likely the solar system will probably destroy the Earth. But uh, we're not going to talk about this. We're actually going to be talking about the effects of uh, what Earth might experience if it does start spinning faster for one reason or another, such as, for example, tidal effects from another object or maybe just maybe a collision from a relatively large object such as a planetoid like Mars that totally missed it. Here we go. There we go. This will probably accelerate and make it spin faster. Now, um, if the Earth does spin faster, the first effect is going to be obvious at the equator. Okay, let's go back to the original Earth because this one kind of got destroyed. Uh, so at the equator, the gravitational forces will be actually um, counteracted by the centrifugal forces, the forces of rotation. So they're always kind of pointing to the outside. And so right here at the center, first of all, the Earth will actually bulge out. It will kind of look kind of like this, like a flattened uh, spheroid, basically. And uh, because of this, right here at the equator, not only will you actually get more water, but you'll also start getting more atmosphere because a lot of this stuff from the polar regions is going to slowly move here. And the water at this region and the atmosphere at this region is actually going to be lower than here. In other words, a lot of the water, a lot of the oceans will migrate, reshaping the shape of Earth, making it look kind of more like this. So there's going to be a lot more water at the equator. There's going to be almost uh, no water at the polar regions, which unfortunately I can't really show you here because I can't make the Earth different shape, but the equator is going to look very similar to this. And uh, because of this, uh, there's going to be a lot more extreme climate situations. So first of all, there's going to be, due to a lot more atmosphere here, there's going to be a lot, a lot more um, hurricanes, a lot more crazy hurricanes, a lot more crazy winds and a lot more insane, insane weather effects. So the actual weather effects are going to be extreme, like really extreme. Imagine winds that are going to be 10, 15 times faster than, than they are in even the most powerful hurricane that we have right now. And essentially it's going to be really difficult to survive at the equator and chances are nobody would actually be able to live there. The other effects will actually be coming from the fact that the actual plate tectonics, the actual continents, will start moving and drifting differently as well. And they'll actually start moving faster because now there is uh, a lot more centrifugal forces and the Earth is differently shaped. And so expect a lot more crazy, crazy earthquakes, violent earthquakes and violent volcanoes as well. So here, some insanely powerful volcanoes that would pretty much become a regular occurrence due to a variety of stresses that the Earth crust will start receiving from this newly acquired spin and from all of the centrifugal forces that uh, start acting on the crust. 
On top of this, the actual continents will of course move much 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 faster and they'll actually start evolving a lot faster than they used to in the past. And back in the days when the Earth was spinning way faster, they were evolving quite fast um, to the point of creating a variety of shapes but at the same time there actually used to be one large continent and it's possible that if the earth does spin faster maybe they'll actually drift back and create a kind of a large chunk right here in the middle once again and because the water levels will actually be concentrated right here at the bulge uh the actual water levels will increase to the point where we'll have some crazy deep trenches, possibly 30, 40, or even 50 kilometers deep, compared to the deepest trench, which is Mariana Trench right now, that's only about 11 kilometers deep, so the actual oceans will become much, much deeper as well. While the oceans at the polar regions will become either non-existent or extremely shallow, making them all very, very insignificant and probably unrecognizable as well. Now, because the Earth is spinning faster, uh, we'll also obviously start receiving different amount of day and night light. And this means that uh, it's very likely that the temperature um, will change here as well. So it's possible that the temperature extremes will be different. And because the Earth starts circulating air around a lot more effectively, we'll very likely end up with a more moderate climate and uh, something that is actually uh, very different from what we have today. So basically, we'll probably have uh, much cooler daytime, but also much hotter nighttime uh, pretty much across the planet. And this might also cause some other extreme temperature changes that are kind of unpredictable at this point, but we can only speculate. And uh, on top of this, the, the fact that the Earth spins so much faster a very important factor of magnetosphere will also be influenced. Right now, the magnetosphere looks like this. And this is mostly due to the rotation of the Earth. It will probably change dramatically. It will increase to the point where um, the actual solar radiation will not affect Earth as much. And this in itself might actually be a good thing because this might uh, create a much thicker atmosphere on Earth or possibly change it in some other dramatic way we don't, we don't really expect yet. But the magnetosphere increase um, will very likely affect Earth for the better. And because of all of these changes, at the end of the day, the life on Earth will actually start changing dramatically as well. We can kind of expect uh, life to be a lot more crazy, a lot more extreme. Because the weather effects at the equator are going to be extreme, the life there is going to be more extreme. Because polar regions have changed so dramatically, the life there is also going to be very dramatically different. And whether humanity can survive or not, that's another question, but all we can tell right now is that if ever Earth starts spinning faster, it's going to have extreme, extreme changes in the appearance of life that will look very, very different from anything that we're used to today. Although actually this is this is something that we have on Earth and this is actually something that might completely be unaffected by any of these changes because these guys are the most resilient creatures on the planet. We will talk about them in some of the future videos. And if you do know what they are, post the comment below telling everyone what they are and what they're called. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. And I wanted to talk about Earth and tell you what would actually happen to Earth if suddenly it started spinning faster. Let's finish this video by making a beautiful explosion out of this planet and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't and share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye.